Hi, this is Rob. How to work with exponents in Python on the TI-84 Plus CE. The TI-84 Plus CE Python Edition has a limited ability to program in Python. In this video, I will cover two ways to work with exponents in Python programming using the TI-84 Plus CE Python Edition. The first step is to press the program button here. This window pops up. You have the choice to program in TI Basic or Python. Press the 2 button to go into Python app. These are the list of Python programs that I have so far. On the bottom of the screen are the options we have. Those options correspond to these buttons on the TI-84. I want to create a new program, so press Zoom here. This window pops up. I will name this program Exponent. A name can only be eight characters long, and the word Exponent is eight characters. Press the Alpha button, and then the letters are located on top of the buttons in green in the upper right-hand area. E, X, P, O, N, E, N, T. Now press OK, which is the graph button here. We are ready to begin the program. The first line of code is to import the math module so that we can use the math operators in Python. Go to Functions by pressing the Y equals button. Move over to the Module tab by pressing the right arrow button. Now press 1 for Math. This window pops up. We want the first one from Math Import Asterisk. Press the 1 button. That is our first line of code. Go to this tab here by pressing the Window button here. The screen pops up. This is one way to enter these different symbols into the program. Move the blinking cursor to X by using the arrow keys here. The cursor is over the X. We want to select it. So choose Select here by pressing the Trace button here. Now X appears above. Now move the cursor to the equal sign here. Select the equal sign by pressing the Trace button. Now we have X equals. We will now paste this line of code into our exponent program. Select Paste here by pressing the Graph button here. We have X equals. Our next line we want Y equals. Press the Window button. Go to Y. Select. Go to the Equal sign. Select. Now paste Y equals into the program. OK, so I made a mistake. We need to make sure that the blinking underline was down at the next line of code. Move the cursor to the Y and press the Enter button. Now move the cursor to the right and press the Enter button to get to the next line. Now we want to enter a Z equals X asterisk asterisk Y. The asterisk is really a multiplication sign, but in Python when you put two asterisks together, this line will really be z equals x to the power y. Press the window button, get the z. Press the trace button, get the equal sign, then press the trace button. Get the x. Now we're going to go down to here and grab the double multiplication sign, which is really the power sign or exponent in Python. Go get the y. There is our next line of code. Paste it into the program. Press the Enter button to go down to our next line of code. We want to show the answer when we run the program, so the last line of code will be print z. This time we'll go to the Function button here by pressing the Y equals button here. Then go to this Input Output by pressing the right arrow button. We want print, which is next to number 1, so press the 1 button. Print is placed into our program. We need the Z in between the parentheses. Window button, get the Z, select, and paste. Move the cursor to the right to get out of the parentheses. Okay, the program is complete. 
Let's find the answer for 5 to the power of 3. Enter a 5 for x and enter a 3 for y. The program is ready to be run. Press the trace button to run the program. And there is our answer here, 125. Let's go back to the editor. Press the trace button. The second way to do exponents in Python. I am going to go down to the z equals and go down to the end of this line and delete until z equals. Then enter this pow 5 comma 3. This is another way to say 5 to the power of 3 in Python. Or in the pow you can put x comma y since we have set x to 5 and y to 3. I'll run this program. And there's the answer, 125. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.